This is Felix. Felix, it's Tony. Hey, Tony, did you see Coco? Oh, yeah. She said you're terrible in bed, man. Look, I got my old house back, the fucking vice. This place could use a cleaning, you know, like, uh, like a maid or something. Felix, you know what you were saying about Gaspar working out of that storehouse? Yeah, Tony. What do you think that cockroach is doing? What kind of operation is he running here? Well, it looked like he was running cash out of there. I saw an armored van in one of the delivery bays. He's probably smuggling cash for laundering. There's a lot of guards, but not impossible to get a look. You want me to go in? No, that's okay, man. I paid that Hassa a visit myself. I have a message for Gaspar. It needs to be delivered in person. Yeah, I'll have to check with Mr. Gomez first. Uh, who may I ask is the message from? You tell him that Tony Montana is on his way up to settle a debt. Just a minute, please, sir. Sir, I insist that you stop. I, I will have to call security, sir. You're like some kind of wild animal, and I like that. It's not that I'm all about money. It's just what else is there. This is a great life. Cocaine is currency, man. It's stronger than a Yankee dollar. I'll grind you in. Fucking vulture, man. Star motherfucker! Who the fuck are you? Where's Gaspar? Who am I? I work for Mr. Gomez. I handle his security. Look like you need to upgrade. Where's the Hassa? I want to talk to him in person. It's none of your motherfucking business. But let's just say Gaspar's on a business trip, Tony. Why you gotta talk to me like that, huh? Like you got some fucking baseball bat up your ass or something. You would know what that feels like, Guano. The next thing out of your mouth is gonna be your teeth, puto! You cocksucky oh. motherfucker! Ah. Uh. Fucking cocksucker! Uh. Ah. Adios, amigo.
Sound father on the phone. Who the fuck is this? Where's Ricardo? I take him back what you owe me, Gaspar. Montana? Hey, fuck you, man. Hello. I'd like to make a deposit. Can I have your account number, please? And I'd like to talk to my manager, Jerry. Mr. Montana? Oh. What's the matter? You seen a ghost? Well, n no. Uh, Jerry will be pleased to see you, Mr. Montana. Oh, I bet. How much would you like to deposit today? You kidding or what? Did you see that truck out there? Okay. Perhaps you should talk to Jerry personally. He's in his office. He's regional manager now. Is that so? Look like Jerry done well for himself, huh? You can come in through the teller door. I'll buzz you in and inform Jerry that you're on your way. Mr. Montana nice, is on huh? his way up to see you. Tony? Really? Um, I didn't authorize this visit, Kathy. Could you inform Mr. Montana that I'm extremely busy and that I'll get back to him as soon as I can? Please be careful.
Hello, Jerry. Tony, it's good to see you. Oh, you too, Jerry. Look like you've done pretty well for yourself. What, this? Just climbing the corporate ladder. You know how it is. Got to take care of the family, right, Tony? Oh, but you got to look out for yourself first. Right, Jerry? Tony, sit down. Can I get you a drink? No, I'm okay. Okay. It's been a while, Tony. How can we help you? Help me? Jerry, come on, man. I'm the one who's helping you, remember? Or this? This hasn't come from selling Girl Scout cookies, man. I took a little vacation, you know? I things got a little bit crazy, but that's done. I'm back, Jerry. Look, Tony, you have to understand my position. Look at it from my side. I, I can't lie to you, Tony. I like you. I consider you as a friend. Oh, that's good, Jerry. You're really good, you know? I see that look in your eye, you know? I can read you like a fucking book. I can see this is dangerous for you. It's dangerous for everybody now. I'm back. You show me some balls right now, and we can make this work again, okay? You be my banker, Jerry. We go right to the top. How much are you bringing in? I got a truck full of it outside. Right. You've always been a good customer. I respect that. But I'm running a legitimate business here, and I'm going to keep it that way. I'll open a new account for you, but... You have to allow my bank to take a percentage out of your deposits to help cover the tracks. Look, I know how it works, Jerry. I'm going to fight you on this. Every deposit I make. I'm not going to let you watch your fucking hands in the money I risk my life for. Fuck that. Welcome back, Tony. I'll authorize your new account. If you return downstairs, you can work out the details with Susan. Hey, what you got, man? Come on. Hey, I've seen you before. I'm sure we can do even better next time. Okay, Mr. Montana, your new account has been activated. Anytime you wish to make a deposit, you can return to any of our branches and negotiate a rate. And as a valued customer, we'd like you to have this. What the fuck is this? A magazine? No, I don't want any junk mail, okay? You can take me off your list. It's a catalog. You can use it to purchase items reserved for our more influential clients. Oh, yeah? Can I buy a tiger from this thing? I believe that the tiger will be made available soon, yes. This is Felix. Yeah, Felix. It's Tony. Did you get into Gaspar's penthouse? See what he's up to? Yeah, the fat fuck wasn't there, but I managed to get a few things. I got this new phone, some sort of satellite voice tracking shit. I think the Russians made it. Those commies are probably listening to us right now, but I don't give a fuck. We got other things to worry about, man. Felix, we need to buy some kind of business, you know? We need, like, a front so we can increase the flow of product to the street. You got some leads? Hmm. I don't know, Tony. Maybe. Uh, there's a pawn shop in Little Havana. You know about it? What, do you mean Pedro's? Yeah, that's it. Everybody got a price, man. I got this great idea for this movie, right? Two Latin guys, they just get high. All the time. All the time. 